said it wrong. Objective, that's better. Um, rescue Will, as I'll call him. And he's locked himself in because he knows that he's about to die. If there's one thing I didn't mention yet is I am the master of Resident Evil 2. I am very, very good at this game. I can I can I can almost get an S rank at this game. Um, I actually tried to do it once and I got one hour forty minutes, which was ten minutes just under just ten minutes over, sorry, the time that you need to do uh, to get the S rank. So unfortunately I, I couldn't do that. But I'm not aiming for an S rank here, I'm just aiming to complete the game in my usual fashion. I mean, some of you out there might think that this is a, a speedrun, and to be fair, in my last Let's Play, I made it clear that it was going to be pretty quick. Um, now, in this game, the knife is useless. I mean, it's just useless. In the first game, Resident Evil 1, the knife had at least two uses, I'm, I'm sure, but in this game it has none. Also, in this game... Um, the lighter is the superior equipment to the lockpick, and that's because in this game the lockpick does not unlock any door at all. It only unlocks small small chests that Leon can't do. But in this game, the lighter is the much better much better accessory here. You'll see why soon. Um, also, another note for these n um, memos, um, I'm only going to skim read them, but I'll I'll leave it. I'll linger it long enough so for those of you who want to actually read these things you can uh, I might I'm just gonna skim read it so uh, you guys didn't see a creature go past the window did you no neither did I good anyway so in this corridor you may have to be on actually you will have to be on high alert here because two things first off headless police officer carries weapons well an emission rather the second, you're here dripping blood. Now, that is a prelude of things to come, as you'll see. Now, meet my, now my friends meet the liquor who has no brain. Well, he has an exposed brain, uh, massive tongue, and once he decides to jump down, two massive claws. And it seems like he's got a saliva problem. Now. You can manipulate their movement by sound. So if you run, they run faster. If you just walk slowly, they won't notice you as much. But here's what you do. Now, that's how you dodge them. Um, you wait for them to come close to you. Make sure you're in a spot where you can easily go around them. And then run for your life. Now, later on, we will deal with that liquor. But I don't feel like using handgun bullets to deal with them. We need the shotgun, ideally. So over here, here's an operation report. Here's the first... Oh no, that, yeah, that is the first one. This basically explains that the police are struggling with the zombie attacks outside. And that they're trying to secure ammo and basically more armour. But of course, Chief Irons decided that he wanted to re relocate the ammo and stuff, which makes it much more difficult for the police officers to survive the zombie crisis, as I'll call it. Oh, hang on, hang on. I went a bit too fast there. There you go, guys. Sorry about that. I went a little bit too fast for you. So obviously, just pause if you want to actually read this properly. So obviously, we can see that the police officers really are on edge. And also in this operation report, they explain the liquor to you, which is what we just fought a moment ago. Well, I didn't really fight it, I dodged it, but what we saw a moment ago. So that's always helpful to know. So this is where the lighter comes in handy straight away. We can solve this puzzle. If you're playing as Claire, you'd have to wait until the waiting room to get the lighter, which wouldn't say takes long but it definitely takes a significant amount of time to get there which is always annoying <laughs> when it comes to survival horror games I'm a big Resident Evil nut I love the games I love Resident Evil so much I could basically hug it and kiss it especially Resident Evil 2 I can't put my finger on why I like this game so much compared to the others in the series I mean I love 4 as well but this one just has a special place in my heart. I think it's because it, it's because it's the first Resident Evil game I actually played through and through. I mean, it was the first one I got exposed to when I was younger. Oh crap! Stay on the floor. 
I don't know, I'm just shooting blindly here. There we go. Come on, go down. Oh. Okay. Next one. Who wants zombie lunch? Come here, you. You want to die, don't you? Stay on the floor. Shoot his, shoot his, <laughs> I'm shooting his nuts. He's not going down. That guy's got some tough uh, accessories on him. Come on. Good. He's dead. First thing to do here. Grab the two green herbs. Uh, don't mix them, obviously, and don't use them unless you got injured, which I haven't, which is quite surprising. Now in here, there's, there, there's something quite significant in here. Apart from the handgun bullets here, if you find Brian... Brian? <laughs> if you find Brad Vickers, in that locker over there, you, ha you can get a special key to unlock costumes. That's always nice. Now I'm sure on my last Let's Play I did this, so if you want to see that, then by all means, but I don't think it'll be there by the time this video goes up, so who knows. So the guy who wrote the last Operation Report has now since been killed, as it says there. Now, the guy here who's writing this, I think it's Edward Ford, is it? He, you can clearly tell in the writing that he's desperate now. Oh no, it's Elliot Edward. I got <laughs> Edward Ford. Yep, I made up the name. Such a clever guy, aren't I? Um, we don't need these two items at the moment. And for those of you who know this game well, we're going to get the second red gem pretty much now. So effectively, we've already solved one puzzle for later. Up the stairs we go. And again. Now hopefully, when I next play the game uh, properly, hopefully I won't sound so bored, which is really annoying me at the moment because before I sounded enthusiastic and happy and glad to be doing this, now I just feel like I'm just going to die and you know I've got a headache and oh, it's not nice, I'm telling you. It's not nice to feel this way when playing a game. <laughs> so this is the first puzzle, the infamous puzzle. It's infamous because people always ask why you have to push, push two statues on the opposite sides of each other in the police station of all things. And to be fair, I've questioned this myself. I've always wondered why we have to do this. But then again, it's hard to come up with logical puzzles in the police station, if you think about it. And there's one thing you may notice as well about Resident Evil 2, is that all the puzzles have one thing in common. In common they're all easy. Very easy and very quick to solve as well. I mean, obviously, if you play this game for the first time, you won't know what you're doing, so it won't be quick to solve or, or do, but for someone like me, they're just they're so quick. I mean, even in the original game, there were, there were quite a few puzzles that took ages to solve. Even if you knew what you were doing in the puzzle, it still took ages to solve. Whoa! That zombie got very happy too quickly. Oof. You, sir, are moving a bit... Whoa, he's quick. Look at him go. Okay, that stopped him in his track a little bit. But that last zombie there, the one I killed just there, Jesus, he was desperate for me. Okay, all three zombies are taken care of, so let's go in here. So the piece of equipment that I need in here, which is very important, is Leon's trusty shotgun. Love this weapon, but at the moment its use is limited, so we have to be very careful. Um. If you search this desk here 20 times, which I won't be doing, you get a picture. I won't tell you what the picture is, so ha ha ha, so ha to you. I tried to laugh and it failed. Sorry about that. So let me, get, let me go back. This is Chris's diary. So this is him explaining his experiences in the mansion incident and what he's now found out since then. So obviously he's trying to solve the mystery and tell people, but they're not listening. It's quite funny that in Resident Evil 2, if you look at the um, what we call what we now call 1.5, Umbrella has was already shut down. So I wonder how the story would have gone from there if I'd stuck with that story. And look, we have a unicorn medal, so we can now put it in the fountain. Oh, hello, Claire. Now, obviously, that diary says, tells Good Claire at the end that uh, Chris has gone to Europe. Looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after 
And that and that would then later form the story for Resident Evil Code Veronica when Claire actually does go to Europe and tries to find Chris. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. I agree with Leon on this one. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. So that's another significant improvement that way we from can keep in touch if anything happens. In Resident Evil 1, you got a radio, and basically all you could do is receive, not send. So when Jill or Chris tried to answer the radio, they weren't heard. In this game, the radios both work, so you know, straight away significant improvement. Now if you walk away from the screen for a second and then walk back, Claire goes over to Chris's Chris's table, and if you talk to her, if I can actually do that. No, when I talk to her. I can't believe what is happening to this city. So let's move on. We have a lot to do at the moment. But it's weird though that in this game you get to see a portion of the city, whereas in Resident Evil 3 they made more of an effort to try and show off Raccoon City. Which I believe made it more complicated, but then again, it was it's a city, what do you expect? I'll tell you what though, playing the GameCube port of Resident Evil 2 is so weird just because of how quick things move. Now obviously I don't know how that will transpire once I edit the video. It might not look so smooth because obviously the frame rate jumps everywhere like no tomorrow, but hopefully it'll be, it'll be watchable. I hope. Um, I said earlier in the video that uh, this game will be uploaded in 4K on my channel. In fact all videos from, from now on will be uploaded in 4K because I want to get people to, to actually use that function. But obviously if I do upload in 4K, the most frame rate we'll be, we'll be getting out of each video is 30. You know, you can't do 4K in 60, on my computer at least. So the scenes where the doors open and the cut scenes will definitely look a bit slower than usual, but that'll be okay. Oh crap. <laughs> I was meant to say, when you return to this corridor you will see some hands. See. Also, the liquor is in this room. Let's deal with him. Phew, creepy sound there. <laughs> I tell you what, it's taken me ages to get this game working properly. And looking so good. Oh crap, I forgot I actually ran. Okay. Now, the liquor doesn't know I'm here, so I'm just going to walk slowly towards it. Okay, he's walking away, look. Oh dear. Well, that could have gone better. Um, unfortunately, we've only got two shells left, so um, I think it's safe to say the pistol will, will be our primary weapon for now. So quickly, let's just dart over to the fountain. And while I'm here, I'm going to quickly explain something to you guys. Earlier in the video, I said about the lockpick. Here we are. This is where the small keys would come in for Leon. but.